Today, I'll use alcohol markers to doodle for the first time. This is me, Dustin Granola. I'm a software engineer. And I'm done for today. So I can wrap up and finally come back home. I really wanted to chill, but just when I finished my long commute from the office, Cats. All right, my idea here is to make a video without skipping any steps so that you can see the real process. The problem is that I don't know what the steps are. So let's figure it out together. I had done some tests of doodles, but without coloring, of course, and I found it really hard to improvise. So the first step should be to plan something. I don't know what I'm doing, so let's do some planning. I find it hard to sit still because I have too many espressos and I have no ideas. So I'm gonna draw a Zen master meditating with the head full of ideas. And since I don't know how to draw ideas, I'm just gonna draw Pokemon. Actually, the reason why I chose to draw Pokemon is because when I did the first trial test of doodling, I found it surprisingly hard to come up with original monsters and make them all look different and interesting. So since the objective is to have blocky cartoonish type of monsters, Pokemons are just perfect. All right, cool, we've got our draft and now we need to pass it on a white sheet of paper because I hadn't realized that my scratchbook is brown. But that's okay because I managed to clean it up and I actually changed a couple of Pokemons I didn't like. We can actually start inking now with a fine liner. And this is a step I usually really enjoy, but <laughs> for some reason I decided to do the beard and the hair of this guy in this style and it was really a pain in the ass. The Pokemons were really fun though. <laughs> it's all generation one because uh, I'm old, I guess. And I actually completely lost track on what the new Pokemons are. Anything after the Game Boy Color. And now to the fun part. Finally, we can try these alcohol-based markers that we got. So the brand is Ohuhu. It's not the super expensive ones that you can find online. I think they're called Copic. These are quite affordable. And to be honest, they blend quite well. And I found it surprisingly easy. But here's some tips. Have a piece of paper on the side so that you can try the color combinations before drawing. Start with the shadows of your characters using the darker tones and only afterwards use the lighter tone to blend in the rest. And here's the result. I don't like it, but I also thought the Mona Lisa was shit when I saw it live, so who am I to judge? What matters is that I learned an important lesson today. Ne